messaging. And I'd be like, Miss Lady, Miss Lady, where you going? Uh, can we be friends? All right, can I get you? Can you give me your IG? Uh, you you on Twitter? I'd be, man, I'd be harassing the shit out of Janet Jackson, man. If I was, I'm a son, oh, man. Fuck you then. Yeah, and then y'all be like, and then and and I, and I like the, no cap though. I might hit literally though. Straight up, you, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like yeah. you know this. If you swing, <laughs> listen. If you bat three hundred, you are an all star. You know what I'm saying? I'm a son, man. Yo, I can. If that's she says no, you can just beat her ass. Southeast TC right. that you need to know about. Less than two hours ago, police confirmed a man died after being shot. You're looking at some new video from the scene on 12th Street. Now, police haven't said who pulled the trigger or what led up to this. Sadly, this marks D.C.'s 203rd homicide of 2022. Now, the D.C. Police Union says this is the first time in two decades that more than 200 people were killed now two years in a row. The union chairman is criticizing... The you, got, um, you got feedback, Cole, son. Oh, uh, hold on. Man, or you gotta just drop that feedback, man. But yeah, um, this is the first time in 20 years they said that two 200 people been killed two years in a row. Like it's getting worse, man. It's getting worse. Mm. Two decades that more than 200 people were killed now, two years in a row. The union chairman is criticizing the council for overhauling the criminal code and putting in measures that he says stops officers from doing their jobs. It's incredibly unfortunate. It's incredibly tragic. And, and we're hoping that um, cooler heads will prevail at some point and we can try to roll back some of these policies to try to get some of these neighborhoods back to where they need to be. The whole system is broken, if you ask us. I mean, the, the policing, uh, prosecutions, uh, criminal justice, supervision, it all needs a complete overhaul at this point. And we check the numbers with D.C. police. The numbers of homicides are down this year, 11 percent compared to last year. A 17-year-old now facing a manslaughter charge after investigators say he pointed and fired a shotgun at a co-worker. KPRC2's Rowan Belogan is joining us live from the Harris County Sheriff's Office with the latest on this case. Rowan, good morning. Sophia, good morning. Investigators say the victim had both of her co-workers, who are both 17 years old, over her home the other night, helping to take down Christmas uh, decorations. Now, new Sheriff County investigative reports explains exactly what happens next. Family identifies the victim of an overnight shooting on Beaumont Highway near Crosby as 19-year-old Marissa Dykeman. What we know right now at this point is that the female who lives at the residence was um, with two co-workers, two male co-workers taking down Christmas decorations. Sergeant Greg Pinkins with the Sheriff's Office said at some point, one of the two 17-year-old co-workers got a hold of a gun. The Sheriff's Department homicide report states, quote, one of the males pointed and discharged a shotgun striking the victim. Dykeman was pronounced dead by first responders. Authorities identified the male as 17-year-old Cayman Wilson. The case... Mm. Give give me an idea on Cayman Wilson. Uh, he's a glider like That's a glider. Cayman. That's why they named him. He yeah, feels glidery. Mm -hmm. he's, 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 named he's, he's named after an African crocodile. Yeah. Cayman, a Cayman, yes. What do you think, man? What do you think the idea on this kid is? Summon. Summon. You think it's son? Yeah. That's a sound brother. <laughs> he said, yeah. Sound brother. But you're just saying that because you're a racist glider, Bill, man. Give us a give us <laughs> I'm, I'm saying that off, off the name Cayman. Wilson, the case classified as manslaughter. That same report states that Wilson is in booking here at the Harris County Sheriff's Jail. We've reached out to the Sheriff's Office for additional information. And once we get that, we'll make sure to share it online at clicktohouston.com. Reporting live downtown Houston, Roman Belogan, KPRC 2 News. Roman, thank you. And a story we have only a seen ride, on TV Reed's mother speaks exclusively to our Richard Solomon. Andrew Megan Reed, Sensei's mother, tells me she's standing off the strength her other kids give her and to get justice for her son. And this is something she will not stop doing until it's done. October 12th, that morning, since I woke up. Megan Reed remembers that day like it just happened, a day that will never escape her mind. Her son, 
Sinze Reed. He loved to laugh just like me. Like he thought everything was funny. He just started middle oh my God, you people are fucking so predictable, man. Like it's, 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 it's literally like, yo, what the fuck? 13 years and all you raised is a fucking laugher and a joker? Who's shooting at a man, a grown man in public? He loved to laugh just like me. Like he thought everything was funny. He just started middle school. He was only 13 years old. He's still a baby. Whether he had teen behind his years, he's still a baby. And my baby had a lot of years left. This day that she can't forget. Columbus police found Sensei shot in his Wedgwood apartment neighborhood. I see him laying on the ground. I see him there was blood like everywhere around him. I can go to him. I can hold him. I can tell him that it's going to be a real tears, man. That's a real first. Tears. Yeah, man. And listen, man, I, I get it. She's upset. But I mean, come on. Your son was out there shooting at, in, a, in a gunfight with a grown man. And they're covering the story, Avi. Okay. Police arrested 36-year-old Craig Butler that next day. Court records from October show that Butler was charged with murder in municipal court. But they... This is why this story, this is why this a teen getting killed in Blackistan is such a big story. That's why they picked this piece of nat shit out of a fucking goddamn... Big ass bowl of pepper because a white man did it. Days later, the charges against him were dismissed, and prosecutors have not yet refiled charges in the common pleas court. According to the prosecutor on the case, the case is still under review and pending further consideration. In a statement from Franklin County prosecuting attorney Gary Tyak, he said, quote, it is standard practice for almost every felony case filed in municipal court to be dismissed. Further saying, this particular case is still under review for possible presentation to the grand jury. But it has not been presented as of now. And now months later, community members and activists are raising concern, asking about the investigation. And a mourning mother is vowing to fight for justice. There's been a lot of babies that have been shot down, gunned down, and nothing has happened. Yeah, because they were all shot down by black people. He straight up. And listen, you know how right he has to be in to be a glider and not be hanging from a tree right now? Like, he has right. to be very right for them to do this. And the only reason they even leaving that statement up is because they got to say something. Yeah. <laughs> Salute to Margaret G, man. Salute to Margaret G. She said, have a sunny new year. I, uh. Salute to Margaret G. Um, I, I think that I don't think he'd be hanging from a tree, but I think that he would be fucking charged. Like they, just like George Zimmerman when they knew they didn't have a case, but they just brought the charges to appease the Sun community. Just like with um Michael Brown when they just brought the charges to appease the Sun community. No, they, no, really. they do that a lot where they just bring charges on somebody knowing they're not going to be found guilty in court to appease us. They're not even doing that with this one because the kid was on camera busting his gun at the guy and the guy fired back. So I need to start with my son. And to NTV, we'll hear more about the community fight for justice during an event planned this Sunday. New Orleans will be packed with people, not only for the Sugar Bowl, but also celebrating New Year's Eve. And city leaders want to make sure you stay safe. So they're calling in reinforcements. Eleanor Tabone has what people can expect to see while they're out and about this weekend. Days ago, a person was shot here at the intersection of Bourbon and Toulouse. With this weekend set to be one of the busiest with the Sugar Bowl and New Year's Eve, NOPD is calling in help to protect residents. Look at all these fucking gliders. This is the safest place in the world, man. The only thing, think about it. One, well, two, it would take two years. Two sun men could be down here and there would be a shooting. Two sun men who didn't know each other. One could come from, one could be coming this, in this way, one could come in that way. And if at some point during all this shit, those two sun men cross paths, it would be a shooting down there. 
That's sick, man. And tourists. We have a heavy foot vehicle and traffic um, presence in that area and around the quarter. Interim Police Chief Michelle Woodfork says NOPD is beefing up its patrols God, as the city's that was population squeals. Yeah, remember they just, remember we did the story on her the other day. She, she the other, the black dude um, resigned. He couldn't take it no more. And they, they named her. Is NOPD is beefing up its patrols as the city's population squeals this weekend. More than 250 additional officers and 25 state troopers will patrol the French Quarter and downtown this weekend. Folks out there um, who are violating with weapons or any other um, crime, we're going to take police action. We're going to um, do what we have to do. New Orleans is on track to be the deadliest city in the nation this year. From just Wednesday to Thursday this week, there were at least 10 shootings and one person died. The OPCD has elevated to level two staffing. That means that we have doubled our staff at 911 to handle these calls. But some tourists are completely unaware of the city's spiraling crime problem. Two days ago, one person was shot at this intersection right here. Does that concern you? Yeah, I didn't know about that. But... Yeah, I'm a glider, man. We just don't do these type of things. I mean, we, we come out, it can be a trillion of us out here in the streets all drunk. And nobody else yeah. Drunk. yeah. <laughs> Hey man, I'm gonna be real with you, Ock. When you show these videos, my the sun man come out of me, and I be looking at him. I'm like, man, that's a target. That's a mark. That's a mark. I can get it something quick from that person. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. These are all victims, but this guy, he 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 can't believe that. Like, what do you mean, so much shot here? What are, what are you talking about? All <laughs> <laughs> no, this fun going on. We're just drinking, hollering at bitches. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's expecting to see teddy bears and candles on the corner if somebody got <laughs> shot. Straight up. Completely unaware of the city's spiraling crime problem. Two days ago, one person was shot at this intersection right here. Does that concern you? Yeah, I didn't know about that, but yeah, it's kind of concerning. Others say they'll be very vigilant while in town. I'm a tourist from Boise, Idaho. But I have been reading about it. Boise, Idaho, man. You got a lot to worry about. Y'all had four whole murders this year, last year. Man. And we about to talk about all four murders y'all had <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> you know, we about to talk about the four murders y'all had in y'all city, in y'all in y'all state, man. In one minute. We coming up. Uh, give me give me like five to ten minutes. We're gonna get into the boy the, to the um Idaho thing. Um University of Idaho. New Orleans being the most dangerous city in the United States. It makes me more cautious. One visitor sees he's planning to move here, but sees it comes with risks. I would like to carry something to protect myself. You know, it's a tragedy that's the case. Revelers are also urged not to drive drunk, and officers will be watching the roads this weekend. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Hey, I, I looked up came in. New Orleans will be packed with people. Not you got came in. Let's put it in the back chat. I think somebody's a glider. Back already. A, a whole glider. glider. A whole yeah, glider. he's a glider. Ah, thank you. The mail was wrong, man. Who thinks <laughs> this guy? Well, oh, it, it, it is negligent. Know. He's being charged with neg negligent manslaughter, so. Just yeah, as well. He's a, he's a black man. They'd be fucking charging with um, triple murder. <laughs> they throw him under the prison? Yeah. Murder, capital murder, man. But li listen, who thinks this guy's gonna draw down on the sun man if he sees the sun man looking at him funny? Never. That's a free weapon, right there. No, exactly. I think he's. I think he's actually might be a trigger happy as. Yeah, uh, glider. You never he know. Yeah, shooting. Shooting. He might just well, be. That's New Orleans, Bernie, Bernie Gates, Gates, right there, man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There's not enough of those trigger happy gliders. <laughs> he might be a marksman. Now you know these gliders. Looks to be deceiving. Not this guy. <laughs> I don't know. He was the first. He's the, only, he's the one person to even bring. He's the one person to bring up. You know, he think it'd be good if he can carry something to protect himself. True. Very true. Yeah, the what fact that he said it. something to protect myself. Yeah, you know? he thinks a lot about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what, what's the point of having it if 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 you're not like you gotta? We like we talk about all the time, like. Yo, you gotta be like 
instant. You gotta be Billy the Kid with that shit. You gotta be Doc <laughs> Holiday with that shit. Ringo, hey, yo, among Masi on that. Yeah. Gotta be Danny Ringo. It's a tragedy, that's the case. Revelers are also urged not to drive drunk, and officers will be watching the roads this weekend. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Here at home, an arrest has also been made in a highway shooting that claimed the life of a beloved teacher. Local tennis Christian De La Rosa is live at the jail in Fort Lauderdale with where that suspect is still behind bars tonight. Christian. Louis, the suspected murderer was arrested in Pembroke Pines and the victim's family tells us tonight they're related.